Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to show you how to add a new font to Engrave Lab. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is put the font in the proper directory. So here I've got my all of my CAD link fonts right here. Just go to View Details, and here's a new one that I just made. This uh, Q and E F one forty seven Arial four line. So I'm all I'm going to do is copy this, and I'm going to go to my C drive, and I'm going to go to my Engrave Lab directory, and go to Fonts. And typically, I like to have uh, a Q and E folder here, but I don't. So I'm going to just drop it in here and paste. Now it already exists because this was a folder that I created the font in so uh, in your case it won't be copying over. So I copied it in my fonts directory. Now I'm going to go to Engrave Lab and I'm going to go file down to install install fonts and tell it to s it's already looking in my Engrave Lab Expert V8 so I tell it to search now and you should see the Q&E 147 listed here. You can install just one if you want or just say install all. I'll just say install all. It goes pretty quick. Say OK and close. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, double click on a baseline of any text. Go to my font detective and because I have a group called Q&E, I want that group, I want to edit this group, and you'll see this group does not have uh, the 147 in it. So I want to edit this group. So I've got the Q&E selected. Obviously, you could edit any one of these, but I want the Q&E. Options, Edit, and just hit the letter Q to get down to the Q's. Scroll down to 147. Click here and add it. And then say OK. And then really important, you just click on Select. So now, if I swipe through this, click on the down arrow, and I go down to my Q&E fonts. And let's see if it's updated. There it is. So now here's my Arial four line. Hope this helps.